April, April, der weiß nicht, was er will. So the weather here in Germany is a little different from what we expected. We'll probably do a whole video about the weather sometime. And yeah, you know, once we're here for a full year and the different seasons and things like that. But what I did want to talk about today was the weather in April in Germany. April, April, der weiß nicht, was er will. That's a saying that was talked to us by some of our German friends here that actually means April, April, he doesn't know what he wants. And I learned that it actually comes from a poem written by Hendrik Seidel. And it's basically talking about the weather and the craziness of the weather here in Germany in April. And this year was certainly no exception to that rule. <laughs> so the weather here this year in April certainly lived up to that poem. I mean, it was doing whatever it wanted. April 1st came around, you know, April Fool's Day in the States, and we looked outside and it was snowing. And it was just a little bit of flurries, but you know, snow on April 1st, April Fool's Day, I was like, oh, good joke, Germany. Uh, and that was coming up after a, a week of like really nice weather. So we had thought spring was here, but the temperature dropped back down and we had snow. And then the next day it was rain. And the next day, hey, it was 20 degrees again. And the next day it was negative two again. It was all over the place. We went for a weekend with our friends down to Annaberg Buchholz, which is near the Czech border, and it was really snowing. So now we're halfway through April and snow's accumulating on the ground. It was beautiful, especially uh, in Annaberg Buchholz because um, it really reminded us of Pennsylvania, central Pennsylvania with you know the, the nice little mountains and hills, the scenery. It was beautiful, but it was the middle of April and it was snowing again. And I was like, wait, aren't we in spring yet? Um, so having days that were in the, the high teens and, and 20 degrees, Celsius, of course, for my American friends, um, and then having days that it was snowing and then those days where it was three degrees below zero again. April, April, der weiß nicht, was er will. Totally held true this year. I'm not sure if all of Germany is like that because there's that poem that talks about the weather in Germany. I assume it is more of a nationwide thing with some variances, of course, throughout the different cities and states, but it is certainly something that is a little bit challenging to get used to because you're waking up every day, trying to get ready for school, get ready for work, get ready to be out and about, and you have no idea what the weather's gonna be. You're looking up on your phone and you're like, ah, oh, what's it gonna be today? All right, sunglasses and t-shirts? Nope, winter coat, gloves, hat. And all right, next day, what's it gonna be? Ah, oh, I got my winter coat ready. Nope, sunny, warm, beautiful, you know. Next day, all right, I'm ready to be out and about again. Raincoat, umbrella, you know. You could just not predict it day by day. So if you're coming to Germany and it's April, Bring everything, bring your raincoats, bring your winter jackets, bring your sunglasses and, and sunblock. I mean, it's gonna be all over the place, but it's beautiful. Now we are on April 30th, last day of April, and it looks like spring is finally here. It's a beautiful day, sun is shining, we're outside in t-shirts and sunglasses, 20 degrees again, enjoying the beautiful, beautiful weather. I pray that it stays like this after a long, cold and gray winter here in Germany. This nice spring sunshine is amazing. So there you have it. April, April, der weiß nicht, was er will. In Germany, in April, prepare for everything. You'll enjoy it. We enjoyed it. And now we're ready for spring. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. We got lots of great things coming here in Leipzig.